This is Abdullah Jahade on day one of the second edition of the Swim for Life training session. He and many of his colleagues can be seen visibly terrified, screaming out of fear to get inside the pool for the first time. But after just 21 days of training, Abdullah and co are now masters of the pool. The phobia is gone and these kids don't hesitate anymore to jump inside the pool and swim freely from one end of this pool as deep as 2.5 meters to the other end of the pool. After nearly a month of training, 31 out of the 38 who registered for the swimming classes have successfully graduated for having completed the training. The colorful ceremony was graced by parents, family members and swimming enthusiasts which show a spectacular display of amazing swimming skills learned by these young boys and girls within a short period of time. This is the second edition of the Swim for Life Gambia Initiative which seeks to promote swimming as a sport and to minimize the alarming rate of drowning in the country. We are calling on all stakeholders to come on board and partner with the Swim for Life to make this an annual project. I urge the government of the Gambia, through the Ministry of Youth and Sports, to think of how to embrace such a project. I will also call on the National Olympic Committee to think of how to support such an initiative, because this is what we call real catch them young. Swim for Life Gambia project has two objectives. One, to save lives through training. Two, to produce future national swimmers. The graduates between the ages of 6 to 18 who would not go near the pool a few days ago demonstrated with joy the different types of swimming skills they were taught from breaststroke to backstroke and from freestyle to diving. Aspiring swimmers perform every aspect to near perfection, much of the delight of their parents. The graduates were certified for successfully completing the training and acquiring the basic skills of swimming. Deputizing the Minister of Youth and Sports, the Chairman of the National Sports Council commended the Swim for Life Gambia project for promoting grassroots sports and to combat drowning, which he said is on the rise and continues to inflict pain on society with the loss of young lives. Bringing people here to be trained to swim and to save lives is very, very important and is commendable. We would encourage you to continue with this because the graduates, they are so young, but you could see the enthusiasm and the zeal being exhibited here. Not many can do this. So having to bring children of this category or age to be trained to swim is laudable and commendable, and I encourage you to continue. The young swimmers were also trained in methods to save a drowning person. Whilst the Swim for Life project is preparing lifeguards, more lives continues to perish at the sea. According to reports, less than 24 hours after the graduation ceremony, five lives were lost at one of the country's beaches. It highlights the need for the concerned stakeholders to support such initiatives which aims at protecting lives. For these kids, the waters have now become a familiar terrain and it was fun learning how to swim. When I was coming here, I was not able to swim, but thank God for this um, Swim for Life project. They were able to taught me how to swim and different types of swim. And what is it like? Now, you know, I can see you enjoying. Yeah, I'm enjoying. Fun it's also fun because I can use it as my sport activity though, and it's also healthy. You want to be a swimmer, you want to do it for fun? Well, even though we are not a swimmer, but at anywhere I see somebody wants to drown in a sea or in a pool, I'll be able to rescue the person. Imagine if these young boys and girls can do this within 21 days. What would happen if they are to continuously train? This is certainly a very good initiative taken by the Swim for Life to train these young kids. But what they need is the support of everyone. Umar Estial, Sports, at the Joint Officers Mess.